Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the OSU Roundup. And we got a lot of great stuff to talk about. Golf is having a tremendous run. We've got softball, baseball, and let's start with softball. The head coach, the uh, the Cowgirls, Kenny Gajewski, joins us now. Coach, in another super, what a super time of the year! It's a great time of year. It's why you uh, it's why you work so hard, and it is it is a super time. It is uh, what these kids have earned, and I'm really proud of them and what they've uh, what they've done. You know, I keep hearing, well, this is only the second time, or third time, rather, that in the Super era that the Cowgirls have been to a Super. Well, that's a little misleading. It makes it almost sound like we've never been to the Women's College World Series. And I bring that up simply because recent history has been extremely good here, and the past history has been really good. And you have kind of bridged the two. Yeah, I, I mean, the only thing I can concern myself with is what we're doing now and um, you know, in our six years here, we've continued to raise the, the bar. That's not us. That's our kids. They go out there and play and leave it all out there. And, and um, you know, uh, if it wasn't for last year, I think we'd be talking about our third in a row. And um, uh, it's what it is. And, and uh, this team is on a tremendous run again. They're playing their best softball when it counts. And uh, I can't wait for what's ahead. You know, I don't know if I could share. I'm going to throw it out there and, and see where you go with it. You said to me, going into the regional, a storm is brewing. I love that. I mean, it, it, it says that this team is finally is, is now coming together as you hoped yeah. it would. And honestly, it feels like a storm is brewing. Well, I, you know, I think, you know, I still feel the same way. There's a swell. And it's, uh, it's the, the snowball is running downhill fast. And you better watch out. And... Um, that's how I feel. This team is locked in with each other, the way they're playing. Um, again, uh, we've, we've got to go play. You know, this is why you play the game. You've got to go play and play your very best. And, and um, I just love what these kids have done. You know, we took a chance and we took them on this little retreat before the regionals. And there's a lot of people who probably would have said um, if we didn't win, that was a bad move. And uh, you can't be afraid to take chances. You've got to do what you think is best for your team. That's what we felt like as a staff that they wanted, they needed, and obviously it worked out well. Well, and you're a coach that coaches to win. You're not managing to not lose. You're coaching to win. Your team obviously has followed suit. And if you look just simply at the results of the weekend in the regional, you go, man, it was easy. You guys knifed your way right through it. Um, but you and I have already talked about this once. While the re end result may have looked that way, the process was not necessarily easy. No, the process is never easy, and you know that. You've, you've uh, been a part of some great teams and runs and, and followed them, and um, it's not easy, but that's what you do it for. That, the journey is what we crave as coaches, and, um, and as these kids get older, it's what they remember. They don't really remember the wins, the losses, the big hits, the big – pitches what they remember is the journey the experiences the fun times the hard times when coach was on me when he wasn't on me and all that kind of stuff and this is what it's all about and so this is just another one of those great journeys and um you know i i really feel like this team can do some special things well you've already done special things in the regional to win three straight and advance is, is very admirable your opponent in the super went much harder route to get there but it's a team that you're obviously very familiar with Texas, you've beaten four times. The last one was a very intriguing ball game. That was postseason cowgirl Texas uh, softball. What about this series? Now going into a three-game series, it's a team you're extremely familiar with. You both have laid your cards out on the table. It's just going to be a fun run. Well, we both know each other well. Both respect each other very, very much. We, we have a lot of respect um, amongst the coaches, the players, We've had some heated moments. It's because these kids compete. But like I've always said, we're still playing to our standard, and our standard is very high here. We've won 52 or 53 national championships here. It's most in this conference. And so we're, 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 we're playing against our standard here at OSU. And um, like you said, we've all, we know who each other are. Um, I know that our team is really good. I know that if our team plays their very best, we will win. And that's how I feel. And, and so it's up to us. We control that. They're, they're in the way of something that we want, and we're going to have to go take it. And that's, that's the approach. It's been the approach all year, and it's not going to change now. Your work and body of work throughout the course of the season allows you now to host this Super. And you told me uh, we are glad that we are at home for this, obviously. Last weekend was special. 
Um, that Tulsa Super a couple of years ago was special. This has got the same opportunity, and I know uh, you've already put it out there to the fans. Be there, let's fill them up, and let's be in full throat. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to need everyone. Uh, we're we're going to need everybody rain, rain or shine. It's really the only thing, good, I think, going on in town for, the, for, our, for our, our sports teams here. Um, and we're going to need them. I, we're going to need them to be involved like they have been. We're going to need our kids to be giving them something to cheer about. Um, momentum is a, is a great thing. It's a scary thing. And, and um, they have really helped us in a lot of moments this year win some big ball games. It's going to be a lot of fun, Coach. Best of luck. Look forward to seeing you in Oklahoma City. Can't wait. Let's take a break. When we come back, one of the young ladies a part of this team has been certainly a vocal leader. She's rock, and we go mic'd up with Dominguez. you love to play academy sports and outdoors makes it easier than ever to get what you need and have fun out there get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your academy store this one is intercepted yeah! decorative towel there was a mess i wiped up a mess yeah, you Game day is a go. There's a Bud Light there. Go Bulls, baby! What a beautiful day to play some softball. I need some like Michael Jackson. <laughs> go get him, Care Bear. It's gonna be scary, carry today. I can feel it. See ya. Adios. Be aquí ahora. Arriba thirty. Ciao. Sayonara. Yeah, Carrie, yeah, Carrie. Out a girl. One. Come on, Carrie. Yes! Go, Carrie! Down on it! Down on it! It's the bottom of the third, and I feel dingers coming on. I called it! Guys, did I call that? You called it. Oh my god. Shy's gonna get a base hit right now. And Cheyenne Factor has her second hit of the game. I told you Shy was going to get a base hit right now. Okay. We're calling a base hit. So that we're calling Big Al's base hit right now. Yeah. Oh my get God, out. I just called that. Call that. We just literally called three hits right now. That was mind boggling. Hey! I think I look like Who? Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Like he could be my dad. I think so. Three, two, what's going to do? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Which side's going to hit it? The one two pitch to Quinn. Called strike three, and that does it. Ah! Oh, yeah. Get her out. Let's go. We won. Bow, 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 bow. Carrie Everly did a great, phenomenal job. Uh. mercy.net slash cowboys ortho there are a great many things that can be found on the road a giant blue whale in central oklahoma musicians in search of that perfect melody you'll even discover the center of the universe 
you'll find stories of lives led, challenges met, and men who raise pigeons. They're all out there waiting to be discovered. All you have to do is follow the road. Phillips 66. Live to the full. Welcome back to the OSU Roundup. And now we talk about what's happening with baseball. Obviously, the Cowboys coming off their regular season series with New Orleans. And, Coach, let's start there. Obviously, you got a couple of wins. That was huge. But, boy, to bring the former president, uh, Bush, here, to be able to throw out the uh, first pitch with Mr. O'Brate, uh, albeit way delayed, it was obviously a special night. Yeah, it was pretty amazing, to be honest with you. I mean, when you when you look at all the things that had to come together for that night to occur, first and foremost, the stadium project, um, the dream for that to be a reality starting eight, yet nine years ago, uh, for Coach Holder to see that thing through, all the amazing people that joined us in, in sharing that vision, uh, for Mr. Obrey to step forward and, and make the, the lead gift, and all the other amazing supporters. Uh, that took a lot of people, took a lot of generosity and a lot of time. Uh, from there, uh, that first moment of a, of a grand opening, if you will, where we could have full capacity and really uh, put a show together with President Bush, the fireworks, the packed house, all those things. It was a pretty remarkable night. And really, it's just a, a tribute to all the people that, that believed in, in doing something big for Cowboy Baseball that got active about it, that put their hard-earned dollars behind it. And really a lot of people put their hearts and souls into that night. And uh, I think you saw that in the way our team responded after getting down initially, the way they fought back to win that particular game was very meaningful. So uh, it was a special night, something we'll never forget, and something we were able to share with a lot of people. So pretty, uh, pretty big uh, a date on our baseball calendar for our program's history. No doubt. And I'm curious, did you get a chance to meet President Bush? I did, yes. I got to shake his hand briefly. He was very nice. He, he spent a lot of time across the facility speaking to the players on both teams and certainly all the people from the university. And uh, he couldn't have been any nicer. He couldn't have been any more uh, – just the way he, he made everybody feel. Like he was happy to be there. He was genuinely enjoying himself. And that's really cool to see somebody like that not only show up, but show up and act so – um, glad to be there, interested in what was going on, proud of that moment. Uh, that was something that really came across in the way he spoke and treated everybody he met. It's obviously was a special night. And coach, you know, when we talk about a team that is maybe having a slow start in, in the uh, conference season, we say that's a must win or, or maybe game two of a regional. I, you know, it's, I don't know if it's a must win, but it's, boy, it's, it just really sets things up well. I don't know where a New Orleans team late in the year sets itself up, but with that packed house, with President Bush there, Mr. O'Brape there, all of that, it almost did feel like a must win. I would agree with that 100%. In fact, I don't, I don't see it any other way. So, yes, there's certain nights where the responsibility to win is always there, but to deliver for, for the program, the community, the people who are behind you to, to finish uh, the hard work that went into that moment was definitely on display. And uh, I would agree that was a must win night. Coach, let's talk about a couple of things and we'll get into big 12 tournament, but uh, in Carcion, in Encarnacion strand was named the big 12 newcomer of the year, Justin Campbell, the first team. You had some other guys on that second team. You had a lot of honorable mentions. So well represented uh, when the, when the big 12 awards came out just uh, this last week. Yes, uh, Christian, no doubt in my mind, was the deserving winner of the Big 12 Newcomer of the Year. What a remarkable season he's had, um, really start to finish. Uh, Justin Campbell, in my mind, also unanimous first team all Big 12 member, uh, both as a starting pitcher and as a DH. He was recognized as a utility player and a starting pitcher. He's been outstanding. And then, as you mentioned, countless other kids getting recognition, Brett Stanley, Parker Scott, Jake Thompson, uh, Trinkle, um, a Cusker cabinets, I believe Max Hewitt uh, received recognition uh, as well. So there was a lot of deserving kids that have really given us a lot and played well. And uh, the Big 12 is outstanding. When you look at the individual players and the teams right now, uh, that's a tough team to make. There's some great players in our conference and there's some elite teams in our conference. So Big 12 baseball continues to get stronger and stronger every year and to get recognized on those teams is pretty strong. 
uh, in my opinion. Big 12 now ahead of you here, ahead of the regional coach. Bedlam round six, set us up for this one. Well, opening round of a conference tournament, you know, always a big game. You want to try to get off to a, a good start and, and stay in the winner's bracket. Uh, we draw a familiar opponent, OU, sixth time to play him this year. That's an awful lot of competition with one squad. But uh, I've said all along, OU's a very good team. They have a lot of talent, uh, talented pitchers. We'll see one of the best pitchers in our conference tonight in uh, Roughcorn. And uh, they got a lineup up and down the lineup that can, that can charge the ball and put it out of the park. So you got to be on top of your game. Should be a, a great matchup, hopefully a great crowd at 730 uh, in Bricktown and, and give this Oklahoma City in the final year of this tournament here, you know, a, a couple of, of, of marquee matchups and hopefully they'll pack the house as a way to, to kind of send this tournament off. But uh, yeah, definitely a strong Oklahoma team in round one. Going to be a lot of fun, Coach. It's just the next part of the process of postseason. Appreciate uh, your time. Best of luck at Oklahoma City. We'll talk to you again next week. Okay, thank you. Hey, we appreciate Coach being here. And, hey, listen, also a couple other things going on. We've got men's golf starting on Friday in their regional, and the Cowgirls are in the championship match as we speak. And we wish Greg Robertson and his crew the absolute best in winning the first ever NCAA Women's Championship at Oklahoma State University. We wish them the best of that. Want to say thanks to Coach uh, Holiday. Want to say thanks to Coach Kitty Gajewski. We appreciate you guys tuning in as well. See you next time on the OSU Roundup.